What's up guys, I'm Dane here at the Grabo office here to introduce the new Grabo Pro. If you guys are familiar with the Grabo, the original one, uh, there's a lot of new updates and a lot of features that uh, I think you guys are going to like. First thing you notice is a digital display opposed to a gauge on the old Grabo. And it reads out in bar and PSI and also gives you the safe lifting capacity in kilograms and pounds, which is really convenient. The next thing you're going to notice with the Grabo Pro is a slimmer handle. Uh, a little more ergonomic, same power, same lifting strength, but it's going to be a little more comfortable in your hand than the original Grabo. As you're aware, with the old Grabo, you have the on button, and then you have to stop it at your desired pressure. I'm excited to show you the coolest feature of the Grabo Pro, which would be the automatic function. Here we have a piece of somewhat porous material. So instead of having to start and stop the Grabo, the Grabo Pro automatically stops when it reaches a complete seal. And as the Grabo loses suction uh, with a more porous material, it automatically restarts itself again and stops when it's out of full seal. Another great new feature of the Grabo Pro would be the release button. If you remember on the original Grabo, you have a spring-loaded release button that pushes off of the material. With the Grabo Pro, you have a much easier to use rubber release button that just releases pressure simply. And like the original Grabo, you can use it on a, a variety of materials. You got tile. And of course it still works on wood, drywall, any non-porous material. As versatile as the Grabo Pro is, it does not work on every single material. Here I got a piece of dry cast paver. And as you can see, it's just too porous for the Grabo Pro to get a hold of. For more information on the Grabo Pro, lifting materials that it works on, does not work on, and lifting capacities, please visit our website, www.grabo.com.